So now I want to go over some harder examples of changing a percent into a decimal. And these are still really easy. The only thing that we have to do is move the decimal point two units to the left. And I wrote that for you in green. So let's just get started with our first example. We have 150%. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this with a decimal point. 150% is certainly equal to 150.0%. And like I said before, in order to change it into a decimal, we need to move the point two units to the left. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to move my decimal point two units. One, two. And after we move our decimal point, we can erase our percent sign. And after we move the decimal point, the 150.0 becomes 1.500. And your final answer should never have any trailing zeros. 1.500 is exactly the same as 1.5. So if we change 150% into a decimal, we get a final answer of 1.5. And I always like to double check my answer. Your decimal should always be smaller than your percentage. And notice our decimal of 1.5 is certainly smaller than our percentage of 150. So that's one way to double check your answer just to make sure that you move the decimal point in the right direction. So let's move on to our next example. Here we have 5%. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite it with a decimal point. 5% is certainly the same as 5.0%. And when changing from a percent to a decimal, we need to move our point two units to the left. So that's what I'm going to do right now. One, two. And notice after we moved our decimal point two units, how we have one empty space. Um, and that's okay. Whenever you have an empty space, the only thing that you have to do is just add a zero. So once again, after you move your decimal point, you can erase your percent sign. And instead of having 5.0, now we have 0 0.050. Your final answer, once again, should never have a trailing zero. 0 0.050 is exactly the same as 0 0.05. And once again, let's double check our answer. Our decimal should always be smaller than our percentage. Notice our decimal of 0 0.05 is certainly smaller than our percentage of five. So now let's move on to our last example. Here we have 0.23%. I'm going to rewrite this and give myself a little bit more space. Once again, we need to move the point two units to the left. So that's what I'm going to do right now. One, two. Now notice after we moved our decimal point two units to the left, we have two empty spaces. Once again, that's okay, because the only thing we need to do is just add two zeros. And now after we move our decimal point, we can get rid of our percent sign. And now the point two three turns into point zero zero two three. So 0.23% is exactly the same as 0 0.0023. And once again, we can double check our answer. Notice how our decimal 0 0.0023 is smaller than our percentage of 0.23. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.